Hello everybody, how are you? I am here with Marionette. Hi. And um, I want to talk to you about May and Mommy Specials that we're collaborating together and we're also doing a YouTube a video at the same time. So, hi, this is Marionette here and my uh, I'm with Forever Living Products also. And welcome to my YouTube channel. So, good morning, Miss Blanca. Okay, so welcome to my home. I'm so happy that you came. Thank you for having me here. I'm really excited to be part of this. Yes, so this is my uh, special video for the month of May, which I know that the month of May is a, has a special occasion, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's your occasion, what's that? It's, it's Mother's Day. <laughs> exactly, it's Mother's Day. And why I choose Blanca it's because Blanca is? I am pregnant. I'm in my second trimester. And um, I have a baby at home and I have another one on the way. <laughs> on the way. So she's a mommy, which I am not. So I cannot really speak well for mommy. But that's why I'm here with the expert. I know Blanca is the expert because she has the baby. <laughs> most expert person when you're carrying the baby the experience that you will have is something that everyone would be needing to inspire with their life so on today's video we are talking about mommy's health so let's dive in okay Blanca So on today's video, we are talking about mommy's health. So let's dive in. Okay, Blanca, shh, tell me about yourself. Well, um, first of all, I'm, I'm a business consultant and I, um, I love to learn about health, nutrition, and also beauty. So a little bit of both. And um, today I want to share with you a little bit of the, the products that I take, my favorite products, and uh, the products that I take as a mom. <laughs> exactly. So Mother's Day is not just for mommy who is carrying, and of course I'm not carrying, but of course every woman likes beauty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, but we will have a special video about beauty in the next yes. videos, in the next couple of videos. So you're going to watch for it. But for today, we are going to focus on mommy and those who are having a baby. So tell me, Blanca, what do you, uh, why did you choose this product? Well, everybody knows that, you know, once you're pregnant or you're trying to get pregnant, everybody needs a prenatal vitamin. You go to a doctor and the first thing that they recommend is a prenatal. So there's so many to choose from and sometimes it's so hard to pick. You go to a pharmacy store, a drug store, you go to your doctor and everybody recommends you different type of supplements. So sometimes it's hard to choose which one is, is right for you. Exactly, but I do believe that mommy <laughs> is the one that can pick. So today we're here to show you because there's so overwhelming products out there in the market believe me but you know what who's the best person that could give you the right vitamins for you is yourself because you're the one that would feel which one is right for you and oftentimes you should be researching for that don't you believe that yeah exactly yeah. so so Blanca had choose uh, this product here and she's gonna talk about this product. So tell me, what is this product? The, the line that I want to talk to you about today is called Isotonics. Isotonics carries a variety of different products, um, all natural supplements, science-based products, and they happen to carry a prenatal supplement, which I, I really enjoy, I love, because... Um, Let's show this to them so they can that. see. So this is your mm -hmm. Isotonic. I know it looks like inverted. But it's okay. But this is the product. Should in case you will be looking down in the market, or should be in in case like you've been coming in contact with this. At least for today, we have given you some ideas on what is this all about. So tell me about that more. So um, isotonics basically is an isotonic form. It's a powdered uh, base supplement, mm -hmm. and you mix it with a little bit of water. 
and I need to drink it. The reason why I like a powdered form or a liquid, it turns into liquid, is because, especially as a mom, um, you have, I'm not sure if your mom or if you experience a lot of um, nausea. Nausea oh. in the mornings, nausea any time of day. My first pregnancy was very different, but my second pregnancy, um, I, I've suffered a lot of that in my first uh, trimester. So it was hard, especially the larger pills. Um, I don't like to take pills. <laughs> and there's people that do, they like it, it's easy to swallow and you're done with. Mm -hmm. I, for me, it's, it's been very difficult for me to, to take pills. So I like this product because I found a prenatal that is in a liquid form. And well, I like the taste. That, so. That's very true because oftentimes there are women, I knew some of my friends out there, I don't have to mention their names, but <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> they hate to swallow pills. So guys, think about this. This is liquid. So, and as much I would like to like uh, recommend for them aloe vera, but in times of pregnancy, they're not supposed to be taking aloe vera because of course the aloe can cause uh, contraction of the uterus so we don't want that and that's the reason why Blanca is here because she specialized on this so mommy out there this is really good because you don't need to swallow it okay yeah, so I like this product because of that and also because um, a lot of people talk about a folate so it is um, high in, in folate and it has other nutrition as well as vitamin B12 biotin so it's a very well rounded product but that's being a nurse i i realized it that uh, pregnancy is the biggest biggest huge stress for mommies out there it just suck all the nutrients from your body and when my mom was having pregnancy we were five in the family she told us that every pregnancy she lose a tooth <laughs> <laughs> So we were fine, she lose five tooth. Yeah, just because of the pregnancy. But believe me or not, it is very true though. We lose a lot of hair too afterwards. <laughs> Good to hear it a lot. <laughs> but yes, that's the reason why you do have to buy it then, right? Mm -hmm. And calcium is very important for mommy out there during pregnancy. But unfortunately, the reason why we need to like help them out with, with vitamin supplements is because absolutely during pregnancy you guys are always nauseated which i, ha I haven't experienced it <laughs> nauseated doesn't want to eat and and basically nutrients are coming out from food right yeah but if you don't have that appetite and you're always like tired and you're always like doesn't want to eat what would you give your baby yeah, sometimes it is hard because especially in that first trimester when you're having morning sickness and sometimes you don't want to eat anything or you eat and it just comes back out, <laughs> it's very, very hard. So it's hard and then you're stressed because you, you don't want to eat anything and then you know that you have to take care of somebody you know that's developing and you have to provide its nutrients and it's like, well, what do you do? And I, I can't take this, and, you know, what should yes. I take? And the doctor's telling me one thing, but I don't feel well, so. Exactly, so that's the reason why vitamin supplementation during this time of your life, women out there, is very important because if you don't do this, then where else can you get the nutrient? At least with this little one, how much water do you put here, Blanca? With this one in particular, and every supplement is different. Um, they also all taste different depending on what it contains. So for this one, you simply, um, it's a powder, and so you basically pour it, um, two capfuls of this, and you pour it in here, or in a glass, and then you fill it all the way up because it's times two. Okay. So basically, that's all you do, and then you, you stir it up, and you, you drink Can it. Can you mix it with any juice or any You could liquid? do that as well. If for some reason like you, you don't, don't like, like the taste, mm -hmm. you could mix it with maybe like orange juice or apple juice or, you know, anything that you take, you could do that as anything well. Anything that they would love mm -hmm. to. So... I mean, ideally with water, ideally, but if, if it's hard for you, the taste, you don't like this particular one, you might like the other supplements, but not this one or vice versa. So is there a particular flavor on this? 
This one is kind of like a citrusy flavor. Oh, okay. It's a citrusy good. flavor. Like if you, you taste like a Capri Sun more or less, or like a, no, Sunny, like a Sunny Delight or something like that, Sunny D. Um, it's kind of like a citrusy, mm. tangy flavor. Oh, that would be nice because then again, if they start having like, uh, what do you call this one? Sometimes, you know, in your pregnancy, you have to, de you develop certain type of taste, yes. right? And smell. Uh, oh and smell. <laughs> it's really like so much. These babies <laughs> developing here are so much, you know, they, they take so much of everything. So sometimes other women doesn't like the citrus taste. Do you mm. have any other flavor for that? For this particular supplement, that's the way it comes. But mm -hmm. you can mix it with, with other other juices. juices that you would love to. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's perfect. So uh, think about this, and that way, it, do you have to take this how many times a day? Once a day. Perfect. Once a day in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. And take then you're it. done. <laughs> oh, that's good. So once a day, and you got all the recommended vitamins and minerals for mm -hmm. yourself and mm -hmm. for the baby. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So mm -hmm. this one once a day. I mean, again, you know, you do have to check with, with your, your doctor, your provider exactly. to see um, you might need more of a calcium, you know, or more magnesium or a certain thing. Everybody's different. Exactly. But the recommended is, is all within this body. The daily recommended for women vitamin is all here. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, of course, as everyone else, we need to always like check back with our doctors and see what they truly recommend. The reason being because the doctor had your lab works. And so they see, nurses too, we do see what are your deficiency. So, of course, whatever is deficient needs to be corrected because if not, like magnesium there, you use that a lot in times of stress. Calcium, you need some green leafy vegetable to make sure that you can pull out that calcium and goes to your bones. So, there are things, there's so many things. That's why we cannot just like say, oh, this is it, that's done, this is yours. Yeah. No, no. There is always this, what we're doing here right now is basically introducing you to different options that you can find out in the market and that way you can always like, oh yeah, you don't find this out in the market in CBS or somewhere mm -hmm. else. Yeah, so you, most of the time, this product who are, you know, whom we distribute and carry are usually products that are really like quality and you can find that there on, out in the market because we distribute them. And Blanca distribute them. So you will, I will show you a link down on my YouTube vid video after this. And that way you can click on that and find whatever we're talking about here to Blanca's webpage. Okay, so what's next that you're going to be talking about? Okay, so Blanca? this is a prenatal. The other supplement that I like to talk about is vitamin D with mm -hmm. K2. Oh, that's very this good. This one here. Let me show this to them. Okay, this is your vitamin D with K2. That's very important guys. So this is the one. So this one here, um, it's also very good for mommies depending. Say if you already have your own supplement, you know, and you love it, you're, you're good with it. But your, your doctor might tell you, you know what, you're a little low on your vitamin D, so you need an extra dosage or you need a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so in case you need extra vitamin D before or after your pregnancy, this would be a good one. It is um, vitamin D3, it has K2, and vitamin D3, it has 5,000 um, million IU. Um, so it, it's a high quality, um, it has high dosage, and then K2 is what you need, is the active ingredient um, for the vitamin D. Yes. Um, together, those two are, are part of important. Yes, because you cannot just take vitamin D by itself because it can be toxic to the body. So you need the vitamin K2 in order to combine them both together to facilitate the absorption of your vitamin D mm -hmm. because otherwise you won't be absorbing that. So that's why out there in the nature, you can always eat your vegetables. Unfortunately, you should be eating 10 cups of vegetables. <laughs> and, and most of us don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
and, and can you imagine, yeah, because this is what I've learned, guys, that, you know, because of the de depletion in our soil, you know, it had come to the point that long before we can only eat like one orange and all the essential nutrients are already packed in one orange. Unfortunately, because of the depletion, and you know how we transport our food? Mm -hmm. And you know, when you pick that, that orange or that vegetables or you harvest that, right there and then, you know, they start dying as they're being transported. That's why my husband is a truck driver. It's very like interesting to yeah, know. Yeah, it is interesting. Yes, because you see this, you see this um, reefer? I don't know if you understand what's a reefer. Okay. You see the reefer, like the, the truck that has refrigerator? Okay, yes, yes, Yeah, yes. the big, huge 18-wheeler yes. truck that is a refrigerator. Okay. So they would harvest it here from South Texas or from Mexico, and then they have to transport it to, to New York. They only have to run like two days. It has a time frame. And that's why most of the time they run during the night time. The reason being because there's no traffic and so they can run faster. They're very like time constrained. Because nutrients and whatever we harvest, of course, starts dying. Think about it. So imagine your vegetables and your fruits that had been harvested like three days or four days. Nutrients are already dead. It's and you the same quality. Uh-uh. And you keep them in the refrigerator for another 10 days. <laughs> Believe me, you're like 1,000% no more nutrients. Basically, you're eating dead food. Can you imagine? Now, and most of the studies have found out that most of the like chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, all these chronic illnesses that we have is mostly related to <laughs> it's mostly related to deficiency, can you imagine? So because of that, I've realized that supplementation is also far more important to prevent illnesses in the future, yeah. believe me. So, so tell me more about this um, vitamin D3. Mm -hmm. And excuse me oh. just one second. <laughs> So um, again, with vitamin D, um, with K2, this one is also in the same form. It's an isotonic form. It is a powder based. And for this one here, um, you would pour one capful, um, fill it up with water up to the line, and then you drink it. And um, also you take it, you take it once a day, and, um, and that's it. You're done with this one. And um, again, like I said, the, the quality of the product, and also because it's an isotonic form, um, I do want to mention that isotonic form, it's, it goes into your bloodstream a lot faster um, because uh, when you do take a cap well, or a, like, um, a pill, uh, it takes a while for it to digest um, and uh, break down all the nutrients and very similar to what you were talking about by the time it breaks down you might not get everything that they say is in here so with an isotonic form it goes into your your system and goes into your bloodstream a lot quicker and it's um, it's more effective and more potent mm -hmm. exactly so that's the reason why most of like vitamins who comes in a liquid form are really more potent because it can be absorbed easily mm -hmm. and you're right a lot of the uh, studies now shows that, remember the saying that uh, whatever you eat is who you are? Yeah. <laughs> That's true, right? But nowadays we realize that how, how, how much you absorb is who you are. Because most of the time if your digestive system is not working that well, then basically you're eating and then it goes out. You know, like, have yeah. you seen those people who are, like, very, like, health conscious when it comes to their diet and everything, and they still ended up having, like, high cholesterol, a lot of issues. That's true, and then you're wondering. Yes! Yeah, that's true. And, and it's so funny, like, because I've seen that, like, there's so much big people who are really, really huge, and their cholesterol are okay, and here comes the skinny little ones, and they die with heart attack. Mm 
So, <laughs> I mean, it's weird, but it's true. So that's why we further more studies on this one. Like, what happened? Why is it like this? You know. So in health, there's so many aspects out there. We cannot just say, oh yeah, just because you eat this healthy food or you take this supplement, that's it. No, no. There's so many aspects out there. So that's the reason why I created these YouTube videos for health and wellness because. Then I want to share, being a nurse for 26 years, I've seen most of the things, you know. Books are books. <laughs> books are books, but it is written by the person's experience too, right? But I think the 26 years of being on the bedside and, you know, studying this and being exposed to so many knowledge, you know, I realized that, oh my gosh, why is this like this and why is it like that? The book says like this and why it doesn't work like this? So what's the picture? And you're right, each one is different. So, I mean, it's an overwhelming information, but, you know, experience comes in time. So this gray here of mine, I don't, I don't take it off to remind me that no, <laughs> I have a lot of those experiences already in the past. But anyhow, so the vitamin D, this is very good. So only mommy can take this or men can take this too. <laughs> vitamin D is for everybody, everybody. And a lot of, a lot of us are deficient in, in vitamin D. Yes. Um, I mean, if, if you haven't done your blood work, I would recommend that you guys do at yeah. least once a year, you know, and then see where you are. Because sometimes you do, you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to um, be more healthy and I'm going to go pick up supplements and, and whatnot. But then, you know, are they what you need? You know, are you taking what you need? So I would recommend, I mean, I hate needles, but I, well, I mean, now I'm getting poked all the time with a baby. <laughs> They're checking that, you know, everything that's okay. But at least, you know, when you're not pregnant and, you know, at least check yourself once a year and see what you really exactly. need and, and focus on yourself. You know, it's your um, personalizing it to your needs, not just because somebody because said somebody so. Somebody said, mm -hmm. you know, so. So she's very right though. That's why in my group and in my team, we're all already like talking about and finding a good doctor out there to find like uh, vitamins, uh, what you call this one, to do a test for your vitamin deficiency. And that way when you recommend, when you recommend like vitamins, then you go directly to where you're missing most of the time. Mm -hmm. And the thing is with vitamins deficiency too, it's not just like, oh yeah, I did this one and I'm only deficient on this. We, most of the time, we're so dynamic, we change constantly depending on our stress level. So sometimes you're gonna be very low on your magnesium or sometimes you're gonna be very low on your calcium or your vitamin D, especially in winter or maybe you're stressing out. And one of the studies that I would like to learn is that most cancer patients are very low in vitamin D. So can you imagine that? So that's why it's important and we're looking at that and hopefully we will find somebody to really like be conscious enough to be watching vitamin deficiency and that way we can, you know, That'd be great. tailor yeah. whatever is your deficient. But mommy at that, that's the reason why you're being told all the time and you know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes patient hated that, yes. pero... But it's for your good, you know, guys. It's really heartbreaking. Uh, I work in pediatric ICU unit, and you know how it is. We poke babies, and we don't poke it for fun. And <laughs> often parents thought that we're poking them for fun. And you know what? My heart breaks, but I always tell them, if I'm not going to be, like, strong enough for, for this, your baby's going to be dehydrated, your baby's going to have renal failure. Uh, what's the point of being here in the hospital? You know, that's so true. as much as we don't want to, often it's so hard, but you need somebody to be strong enough, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we're done with this vitamin D. Mm -hmm. What else can you talk about here? So the last supplement that I want to talk about is magnesium. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. this is very important. So this is your magnesium. Look for this. When you happen to check out Blanca's website, look for these guys. So magnesium has a lot of benefits oh, yes. and you could use if you're pregnant, again, mm -hmm. if you're already taking a supplement that already contains the magnesium that you need, you know, you're fine. But if you need extra magnesium and you're a mommy 
or if you just um, are not pregnant, yeah. you're a woman or a man, and you need um, some magnesium, then this would be good too. This is also isotonic, so it's liquid. You mix it with water and you take it. And I like this one because it has uh, 200 milligrams of magnesium. Mm -hmm. It has potassium as well. And um, it has so much benefits. It helps with blood pressure, oh, with yeah. stress. Um, it helps you sleep mm -hmm. but with cramping. Mm -hmm. um, so it has so many different benefits. Yes, exactly. So magnesium is something that the body uses every time we stress. And who do you think doesn't have stress? Come on. <laughs> we cannot lie to ourselves every day of our life. We stress. We use this body. And often a lot of people are complaining, oh, the vitamins are expensive. And I always tell them, if it's expensive, what does it mean? It's probably higher quality. Or there you go. It has more nutrients, you know, than others. <laughs> Which means that they work harder to come up with that certain product, mm -hmm. right? Once it's cheap, of course, you have to think about how did they do the process? Why it becomes cheaper, right? So your body is very like sacred. It's very important because this is the only. Thing that we have nothing more we build wealth out of this we build memories out of this we build loved ones out of this right so if we don't take care of this and yes we have to be very like particular with the items that we're putting inside this body because this is only one mm -hmm. I still want to be like at the age of 90 I'm not saying I'm not gonna die <laughs> I'm okay with dying but my point is, can I still run? Can I still pick up dishes? Can I still do gardening? Can I still That's have true. like, you know, Sumba? Or can I still be with my friends and have some cheese mix? You know, that's fun. <laughs> well, because you want to be in good health, you exactly. know, because if you're going to be suffering, you're not going to be healthy. But yeah, you want to live long, but you want to have a good quality of life. Okay. Can you, you know, be happy? Would you want to be like at the age of 70 or 90 and be on the wheelchair bound and be needing somebody to clean you up, to feed you, to make dishes? For me, I love cooking. Can you imagine myself at the age of 100 and I'll be stuck in my wheelchair because I cannot even move my arm and I have to ask for somebody to do it for me? I don't want that. So that's why my goal is... If I start taking care of myself right now, because whatever you do right now is going to affect you in the in the long run, mm -hmm. isn't it? So it's a very accumulative process. So in that case, that's why it's important for me to be on this. Being in the healthcare for 26 years, I've seen it all. And I've seen 100 years old women who can be like all oh, be, be jumping and <laughs> is able to move because... Then I realize, if I go back to history, they've been taking care of themselves really well. They, they eat fresh food. I do recommend farm, farm uh, fresh food or harvested. That's why you guys go to our local market. That's very important. Support our local farmers. I'm, I'm into that. I support yeah. local farmers. I support organic food because I know it's good for me and good for my environment and good for the people around. So... At this point in my age, I'm 47, I think I'm more proactive into like, you know, what would I leave the world instead of focusing on, am I like having heart disease? Am I, no, no, I, I don't have time for that. I've been around that for 26 years and I've seen it all, I've heard it all and I'm done listening to that. So I realized that it's way more important to focus on living. Living means I know I'm dying, you know, I'm gonna die at one point. Who else is not going to die? I always joke around. If you can, if you can find me a doctor that is 1,000 years old, sign me up to them because for sure I want to listen to what their secret is. But unfortunately, we all going to pass away at some point. So I'm focusing more on like, what can I do to be more functioning, right? What can I do to be more happy? What can I do to impact other people? What can I do to take care of my environment? Because with that... That way, if I passed away, I'm already fulfilled. I'm not focused on finding arthritis or heart disease or no. I'm focused on what can I do to prevent all these diseases? What can I do to not only prevent diseases, what can I do to help myself be healthy? So focus on what is health and you will find health. 
focus on what is disease and you will find disease. Exactly. That's, that's as simple as that. So, pregnant ladies, don't forget about this. And for me, I'm Forever Living product and I carry aloe vera product, the largest uh, aloe vera distribution distributor in the entire world. My, my company uh, distribute in 160 countries. And believe me or not, guys, this is truly South Texas. Our plantation is down there in Mission, Texas, and it's been around there for 40 years. Can you imagine? That's good to know. It's, I don't know that, so. <laughs> can you imagine that? That's a very awesome, uh, you know, knowledge, and we should be very proud of that being South Texans. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because Japan drinks our aloe vera. <laughs> <laughs> They're the number one consumer of our aloe vera, and not only that, France runs rank the second. It's because they don't have much sunshine out there. They do have winter, and of course, aloe vera is not gonna grow in winter time. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing. We are, I'm super, super proud of this being South Texas down here. I live here in South Texas for almost like 12 years already. My, my peach tree has, is, the, <laughs> is, the, is the, what you call it, the witness. Because I planted, yeah, the, I planted a peach tree when I had my home here. So I said, that tree, however old is that, is my house uh, uh, age. But anyhow, my very product that I'll be like talking about is aloe vera jelly. Of course, this is aloe vera jelly. What is this all about? This is basically, you know, when you pile your aloe and the inside part of the aloe is something that we all put here. We prepackage this uh, I, because we know that a lot of people would be needing this, but unfortunately, sometimes their, their uh, demographic location would not allow them to have. And we know for a fact that aloe vera has been known to be the plant of immortality yes can you imagine yeah, i do know yes yes and it's, it has so many benefits so many benefits and exactly that's why i said i don't need a scientist to tell me about the nutrients and the effectiveness of the aloe because the ancient egyptian when you open their tomb they already have in their hieroglyphics where they write their stories and everything they already have the aloe in there so what's with that aloe, and what's with that aloe, why they plant, they, they carry it in their tomb? Because if you happen to know it, that when they die, all those pharaoh has to bring everything that they have because they believe that in afterlife, they need all those things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this has been known to be a plant of immortality. Cleopatra has been using this for centuries. And who do you think doesn't know Cleopatra out there? Hello, guys. <laughs> Cleopatra is the most beautiful woman in the history of Egypt, right? Neftit and Nefitari. I think these two ladies are very powerful. They're very powerful because their power comes from their beauty. And that was aided by the aloe. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think you still need somebody to like tell us about that? I mean, they used this in the century. Alexander the Great during the time of wars had used aloe vera to treat soldiers' wounds. So there must be something good about the aloe. And let me ask you this. Your grandma, your great-grandma, when you burn yourself, what does it tell you? She uses aloe. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, your grandma would say, hey, go get some aloe, peel it, and then put it there. So these grandmothers here, mommy in particular, maybe not the scientist savvy people thingy, but you know what? They did it out of love and out of experience. And who do you think is the best doctor? Mama. <laughs> <laughs> because her main ingredient is just simply love that's it so mothers out there when they love their daughters or their children believe me just like chicken don't mess around with the hen or the chicken you know <laughs> don't mess around with their homes because you know what even they don't have that claw they don't have that tongue or whatever they will run and kill you don't you think so <laughs> that's how mommies are so 
Yeah. Uh, but I mean, Olive is something that I use at, at my house too. I mean, I have a little one as well. And I, I have it in, in the fridge. I have my Olive in the fridge. And, um, you know, now with the season, you guys know, especially here in South Texas, there's mosquitoes and, you know, you're out and about. And so it just, when you put it on, it just soothes your skin. It soothes your skin. It calms. It's fresh. Yeah. Um, so and it has for burns, like you said. So mm-hmm. it has so many different benefits. Yeah, and, and think about it. Even if you don't really know the exact content of aloe, think about why is it that when you put it on burns or something, you just said the magic word. It feels so soothing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Secondly, is like why did it heal? Why did it heal? So the scientific community studied it. They found out that aloe vera has 200 nutrients in there. Yes, amazing. And then on this aloe, it's, it has azimanan, which is very potent anti-inflammatory. So basically it's almost like steroids. It is steroids, can you imagine? Steroids, it has polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are important nutrients that your body uses. They're macrophages to eat up all the like bacteria, viruses. Can you imagine creating a, a, a killing machine? That's your body. For as long as you feed your body right and you give your body exact things that your body needs, your body can be a killing machine for all those bacteria and viruses out there. Believe me, you don't need a anything else because this is very powerful we, we forgot about that you know we thought that oh i need the medicine i need this no no actually we repair ourselves we never grow or die in, in reality this body if we truly like nourish it will take care of it it never got old because i have learned that your skin regenerate every 28 days Basically, even you're old, if you're giving enough nutrients and your body absorb enough nutrients. Have you seen those ladies that are like 70 years old, 80 years old, but looks like 50? Yeah. Because their body has enough nutrients. So, do you know that they said you use collagen to, mm-hmm. to make sure that you have a beautiful skin? Because your body regenerates every 28 days. I mean, your skin. Your blood itself, red blood cells, which is a very potent carrier of oxygen and nutrients, is regenerated every 120 days. That's why they said, give, donate some blood because it's good for you, because you're trying to stimulate your bone marrow to produce more brand new red blood cells. So basically, you don't age if you know how to take care of yourself so anyhow with this aloe it has all these important nutrients and ingredients so that's why when you put it in your skin it has lignin that has the ability to suck into the very tiny uh spaces yes so if you break your skin in there and you put the aloe and then you have all this essential nutrients inside then your body can fix itself and then it has antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal properties. So which means that exposure to, instead of the body trying to get rid of all, you know, when you break your skin, then all the bacteria and viruses can come in. And that's why healing cannot take place because it is infected. Yeah. But if you do that, the body can faster regenerate. heal. Yeah. And it has a lot of vitamin C to help regeneration. So what we do use for this aloe vera jelly is that when you're pregnant, you know your body stretch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's why when you're done, it shrinks back and it leaves you all the sagging skin and the ugly marks that your baby just reminds you she was there, you know. <laughs> so what women do with this aloe vera jelly is they put it in their eyes to prevent uh, a, a scar formation or, or your stretch, stretch marks. marks. Yeah. Exactly. And it is very soothing to your skin. So not only that, mommy also uses their skin. Just like when you peel your aloe and you put that in your skin, it's...